So I bought some living fossils. And yes, they are in this box. Why do all my videos start with me struggling to open a box? You would think I would be better at this by now, but nope. Stick with me, it's almost open. So yeah, this is a kid's toy. And towards the end of the video, we will have something like this. Pretty cool, right? But it wasn't easy to get there. You have to be 8 plus to do this. I hope that's physical age. Otherwise, I need to get a real adult to supervise. So in here are triops. They are a species of crustaceans that already exist for over 200 million years. That's a long time to be in a box if you ask me. Now I want you to imagine something. Imagine surviving for over 200 million years as a species, just for you to end up in this. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty depressing. But of course, I'm giving them a better place to live in, you will see that later in the video. And here they are. No, they didn't shove live tribes in this tiny box, these are just the eggs. And in only 20 days, they transform into this. I'll show more of it later in the video. In nature, these tribes mostly live in temporal pools. The adults lay eggs, the pool dries out, the adults die and the eggs wait for new rainfall. The eggs can survive up to 20 years in a dry condition and that is what also happened at Burning Man this year. These guys waited a long time for rain to party. But let's get back to our kids toy. We also got some special triops food, which is basically fish food but more expensive. And this is some sand. Now it's time to set up this, I don't know what it is, but it sure as hell isn't an aquarium like they call it in the manual. This tiny thing is just to hatch the eggs and for the first few days, after that the tribes are transferred to the real aquarium. I'm doing what the manual says step by step, but turns out I should have done that, it failed miserably. You will see how later in this video. The manual says to add this additive for tribes growth. I think these are just algae and in that case I have to add way too much. Before I add the eggs, I have to wait for the water to heat up to about 25 degrees celsius. In the meanwhile, I can set up this bigger tank. I know, it looks shitty, but at least it's better than that aquarium it came with. Wait, I was doing air quotes. Aquarium. First step is to add sand, because tribes love to dig. Here is the mandatory close up of the sand, for no reason. You're welcome. Second step is to add some wood, because... That's a nice piece of wood. I'm putting some Anubias on it and I'm attaching it the only way I know how to. Smash it with a rock. Now let's see if this also works inside the aquarium. Okay, so far that doesn't look too bad. But I have low standards so yeah, that doesn't say anything. Now time to add a rock. Without water, this works great. Yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. This is just another water plant. No, I didn't forget to take the pot off. Tribes tend to eat the roots of plants, and this way they can't do that. I'm so smart. I'm just lazy. Adding another stone in the back, because it rocks. <laughs> Why do I do this? Adding one last plant. This one was dead within a week, so this was for nothing. And now it's time to add the one thing that makes an aquarium an aquarium. A plastic bag. No, I'm kidding. This bag is just to prevent the sand from stirring up. Yeah, that worked perfectly. I'm filling this tank up with rainwater, because in the manual they say to use rainwater or distilled water. These are low in nutrients, which is apparently what the tribes need. Lastly, I'm adding some duckweed, which one of my subscribers beautifully described as the herpes of aquariums, because you can't get rid of it. It turned out... Yeah, let's just move on. But let's look at it at the bright side, at least it looks better than that thing the tribes came with. That isn't really an accomplishment. Now it's time to put the eggs in the water. And I only had to wait 2 days for something to hatch. Luckily I have the best camera ever, I was able to get some crystal clear footage of the babies. This is as clear as those pictures they used to prove that Bigfoot is real. Same quality. But 2 days later. I changed the setup because the water was getting dirty and I managed to get some better footage this time, kind of. At least you can see them swimming. These things will increase in size 200 times in about 20 days. More and more are hatching. And now as you can see they're about the size of a sand grain. So it was definitely not easy to even get this crappy footage. So please leave a like for my hard work. Just I need this, okay. 
and if you're wondering what this one is dragging along, as a biologist I can tell you that shit. However, I told you before I failed miserably because I followed the manual, and a day later all of these were dead, so I had to do some research and looked up information on the most trusted source of the internet. Reddit Turns out detritus is very important for these triops. Detritus contains infusoria, these are tiny aquatic organisms that the baby tribes need to eat. And two days later, we already had some new ones. This one was just chilling, minding its own business. And then we have Bob. I think Bob is sad he didn't hatch at Burning Man. I can see you're already bonding with Bob. That's great. Yeah, he did. I kinda feel dumb here. These animals managed to stay alive in dirty pools for over 200 million years, and I can't keep them alive. But I'm not giving up. Third time is the charm, I guess. So I used a different combination of mineral and rainwater, a combination of artificial and natural light, and I'm getting some detritus from the spawns in a jar I made earlier. I'm adding new detritus every day, so they always have something to eat. And this time, it finally seemed to work. This is 5 days after adding the eggs. As you can see, it's already bigger than the ones we got before. There are only two left, and the reason is something I forgot to tell you about these lovely animals. They're cannibals. The big aquarium is already several weeks old by now. Some algae are starting to grow, but apparently these stripes like dirty water, so great for me because I'm lazy. I'm adding more and more water of the big tank, so the tribes get acclimated before I add them. On day 9, they already had grown a lot, and it was time for the smaller one to be moved to the big tank. I was scared the bigger one was going to eat it. They are finally starting to look like the adults, but they still have a lot of growing to do. And this one can do that growing in the big tank. Or not, because, spoiler alert, he dead. And there he goes. I would say he's gonna have a happy life. But yeah, we all know that isn't true. I think the problem was that he was still a bit too little for the big tank. I couldn't find enough of the food pallets I put in there. But don't worry, I still have another one that did manage to get to adulthood. And this one also had a big surprise for me around day 20. At first, he still has some growing to do. I put him in a smaller container for a few minutes to get a better look. And I can only think one thing. These things look weird. I'm gonna wait a few more days before I put him in the big aquarium, until he's ready to eat some bigger food than the pellets. And on day 14, I think he was ready. He's growing fast, because he's eating a lot. They filter the water and grab the food with their many legs, and then guide it towards their mouth. I managed to get some footage of this when he was getting on its backside. The arrow is his mouth with food, and that is some more food that is flying in. Show this footage to someone that doesn't know what triops are. I guarantee you that their reaction will be, what the f... As you can see, this one has no problem finding food, so I think he's ready for the big tank. He was basically already swimming in water of the big tank, but I still wanted to acclimate him more. This small container has little holes in it that allows the water of the big tank to slowly get in. That way, he also gets used to the temperature change. I let him settle in for a few hours. When I got back, I noticed that the water was already very cloudy, and I had no clue why. I only had been gone for an hour or two, so I thought it was strange. Yeah, no clue why. At least he was also helping me cleaning the wood. He's eating the food particles that get on there from stirring up the sand. And this one is helping me clean the algae from the aquarium. Totally unrelated. Have you ever seen a snail take a dump before? Just asking, for no specific reason. On day 17, the tribes had a small surprise for us. That is a shed skin, which means he's still growing. But a bigger surprise followed on day 19. I noticed something while he was eating that piece of carrot. Do you see it? That is a filled egg sac. I'll give you a closer look. How is this possible without a second tribe, you probably think? Some tribes can fertilize themselves. Later that same day, the eggs were already gone. And three days later, some new ones were formed. Now, if I want to mimic the situation in nature, what I should do is drain the aquarium. Unfortunately, that would mean 
this one would die. But the eggs usually need a dry period to be able to be hatched. That means if I drain the aquarium we can start over. We can start over with me failing to keep these stripes alive three times. Yeah, that might not be the best idea. And I couldn't do that to this guy. Look at its little face. So I'm gonna let him live the rest of its life in this aquarium. Which is about 70 days total for tribes. They are called tribes by the way because they have three eyes. Yeah, that might have been great info for the start of the video. But stop, don't click off. There's a great video for you in the end screen after I'm done thanking the patrons and everyone that watched. Thank you. These patrons make it possible for me to keep making videos because it might not look like it, but there goes a lot of time and effort in these. So to everyone, thank you.